Pakistan Navy chief visited forward posts in the creeks area to assess operational readiness and coastal defenses. Three Indian Air Force Rafale fighter jets BS-21, BS-22 and BS-27 are set to participate in the upcoming COPE India joint air exercises with the US Air Force. Ironically, these are the same Rafale aircraft Pakistan Air Force claimed to have shot down. Following the Indian Air Force's stellar performance in the May 2025 conflict with Pakistan, more than 20 nations have formally expressed interest in conducting joint air warfare exercises with India. The Indian Army has issued a clear directive to domestic UAV and loitering munition manufacturers to integrate GPS denied navigation systems or risk losing future contracts. The Indian Army has ordered domestic drone manufacturers to ramp up production of loitering munitions with surge-ready assembly lines to ensure rapid replenishment. The Indian Army has formed Ashni Platoon, which is a dedicated drone unit for surveillance, loitering strikes and FPV missions, boosting battlefield mobility and awareness. The Indian Air Force has begun deploying mobile inflatable decoys of fighter jets surface-to-air missile systems and radars near forward bases under Western and Southern commands, that mimic real assets in shape radar and heat signatures, effectively confusing enemy reconnaissance. The Ministry of Defense has entered cost negotiations with both Italy and France for 48 heavyweight torpedoes for the Navy's six Calvary-class submarines, and reports indicate that India is favoring Italy for cost and local assembly potential. India and Russia are close to finalizing clearance for the Mach 7 Brahmos 2 hypersonic missile. The next-generation missile will combine Russian propulsion with Indian seekers and electronics, offering 1,500 km range, and launch capability from trucks, ships or submarines. Talks between Brahmos Aerospace and Russia have resumed this year, and India seeks 70% tech transfer for local production at Nagpur and Hyderabad, with the RDO contributing EW-resistant avionics and guidance systems. Israeli defense firm Rafael Advanced Defense Systems has proposed joint collaboration with India, for the final testing and integration of the 250 km range Skysting beyond visual range air-to-air -air missile. It will be integrated across all Indian fighter platforms, including the Tejas Mark 1A Tejas Mark 2 and Su-30. Captive flight trials could conclude in six months, followed by three firing tests. Hindustan Aeronautics Limited has officially inaugurated an advanced simulation and modeling facility as part of the massive 63,000 crore Super Shukhoi upgrade program for Su-30 fighter jets. The newly set up facilities at Nashik and Bangalore will overhaul and rigorously test 200 Su-30 aircraft, integrating cutting-edge indigenous technologies like the Virupaksha radar, advanced infrared research and track system, AI-driven avionics for multi-sensor fusion and advanced electronic warfare suite. Following the recent delivery of first dry cavalry engine prototype, the second engine will arrive in 2026 for 150-hour endurance trials under high-altitude conditions, followed by third engine. Subsequent fourth and fifth engines will undergo up to 500 hours of qualification testing to certify flight readiness and durability. The GTR has already achieved 85% indigenization, and aims for 88% by mid-2026 through collaborations with LNT and Medani Group for localized turbine blades and coatings. Today's top 3 comments.